What's going on, Tube? You welcome back to the channel, ladies and gents. So today we're in the garage, and what could we be doing today? You know, what could we be? Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. <laughs> yep, you guessed it. Today we're finally throwing on the Hoosiers. Uh, the four-star D5s finally meet the Hoosiers. Uh, Twenty-eight by ten and a half by 17 which are about the same size as the 305 45 17 i think these are just a tad wider if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure don't quote me but um they should fit up just fine uh, as you can see they're on the wheel just fine they look great so far and i'm just excited to finally get them on the uh the tire um i did want to stick with the mickey thompson east et street r's like i said they were a great tire uh, you guys saw my footage and stuff, but over the life of the tire, you know, they started wearing down, and you know, I had those things for a minute. I had those things since I had the scat pack, but it, 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 it's, uh, they, they were at the end of their life. They were literally bald by the time I got rid of them, and it's, it's it, instead of going with the ET Street R's, I figured, hey, I don't really want to wait. I'm tired of freaking waiting because, you know, the Mickey Thompson is there. They're on back order right now, and, you know, COVID screwing up everything, so these were in stock. These were cheaper. So I figured, hey, why not give them a shot? What's the worst that can happen? They suck. Oh, well. Uh, if not, then great. Get found another great tire that's actually cheaper than ET Street R. And I've seen plenty of videos where people run these and they don't see them have a problem hooking. So we're going to give them a shot. And I just really love the way these Hoosiers look, man. <laughs> like you guys know, I, I like the tire sticker look, although these aren't stickers. These are on these. This is painted on the tire. So we won't have to worry about them just flying off or anything. And I, I really love the way that Hoosier, I really love that Hoosier look. Um, now, as for the fronts, my Raystar 18 by five fronts are for sale. So if you're in the market, you're looking for some Raystars, maybe to match your backs or something like that, or maybe you just want some front runners to go with whatever you got in the back. I got them for sale. Just hit me up, shoot me a fair offer. I don't really know what type of price to shoot at it. I was gonna charge damn near brand new because at the time they were literally practically brand new but while the uh, remover was taking them off he kind of he nicked me up a little bit he, he he got me a little bit he got me on both tires same spot boop and boop got me in the same spot hells with it these ants but anyway uh just shoot me a fair offer man and i'll be uh willing to drive to wherever you are depending on obviously how close you are you know what i'm saying i, I don't really want to ship uh, but if if it all comes down to shipping then I'll be willing to ship but last time I didn't have a problem selling the rears I just went up and met the guy and Cool, dude, so he'll probably end up getting these before anybody else I'm not gonna lie But I'll post them up for sale in marketplace or wherever or if you see this video before then Then shoot me a DM Let me know shoot me a fair price like I said and I'll be willing to part ways with them Especially if you're you know somewhere in the Southern Cali area, but uh enough about those back to these little beautiful things right here Time to throw them on. I want to see how they look and get some pictures and stuff. We will do some zero to 60 testing, obviously. We got to see how they stack up compared to the ET Street R's. But it's like 110 degrees outside, so I don't I don't, I don't, don't think it'll be very beneficial. We just go out there and just overheat the car, heat soak and all that jazz. So I don't want to do all that, and I'll overheat myself because it's just, it's just too damn hot out, you know? So we're going to throw them on for now, probably get a couple cool pictures in, and then later tonight we'll go out for some zero to 60 testing. So... Stand by while I get these on. I, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch that. It's pretty boring. So I'll just throw these on and tune back in after their own so you guys can get, you know, jump right into how great it looks. So, all right, the two of you had to step outside. It was like way too loud in the house. And I had to make a run to AutoZone just to realize I forgot my wallet at home. So, <laughs> ain't that great? Anyway, check it out, man. Look at that. Look at that. If that ain't a sight to look at, ooh. Ooh, this shit looks so much faster than it really is. It don't make no damn sense. I swear. Uh, anytime I see some beat locks, I automatically think 900 horsepower. Easy. Easy. Nope. Basically stock. Slow as ever. Anybody can beat me. God almighty knows, but it damn sure look fast. Hey, 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 hey. That bitch look fast, don't it? Check them out. Yeah. Just like that. That's all you go see. And soldiers hit your ass, boy. It's a fucking rip. Get the whole picture out here. Oh, don't worry. I, I best believe I've been out here taking full, full advantage of this nice little sunlight, catching that paint, blowing them forgies. 
Boy, them things are tough. All right, so driving over here, I didn't really notice too much, although the speed limit over here is like 45, so you know, I wouldn't really get up to highway speeds. So I can't really speak on highway speeds just yet, but they're not balanced, so I'm assuming I'm gonna wobble like crazy once I get to, you know, I don't know, 100 plus. So these are definitely gonna be dig tires only. These are, uh, obviously I can do some rolls, but I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy, you know, like one, yeah, whatever, fast stuff. I won't be doing anything crazy on these here. Um, I really, I really like the fact that these don't have to deal with that shank style lug nuts. I literally just went to AutoZone, got some regular old lug nuts, threw them on in there, boom, good to go. And I'm probably gonna use uh, the other lug nuts in that pack to just replace the ones in the front because you know, just to keep it uniform. And I should have did that a long time ago. Black wheels, black lug nuts, it just makes sense. I don't know why Dodge. They should at least gave you the option to you know run. To, to, to get some black look nuts and probably charge you like a hundred bucks for them but we don't got to adopt them so i'm just gonna use the the rest of them that came in the pack up for that one and just put them on the front just to match up somewhat and like i said those race stars are for sale so if you're in the market for the race stars not the tires not the tires now for anybody to even get to asking not the tires it's just the they're just the wheels so hit me up if you're interested in some 18 by 5 race stars for the front the front runners um because i i gotta get the matching fronts man that that's that's a killer hell I, I don't even know now man i might just sell the freaking ray stars and just deal with these that just looks <laughs> that right there just makes the freaking that just completes the look without even having the fronts i don't know man that just changes the whole look of the car like that ain't lock alone with that hoosier man that just that just says i'm here to do business I might be the slowest one, like I said, it's just basically stock Hellcat, so slow as crap, but hey, that it looks fast, you can't tell me it don't. Uh, I know I said I would wait, but I'm already out of the house, so might as well go find a little spot to do a couple little pulls. Nothing crazy, I just want to see how they stick, and they probably won't, to be honest, because it's the street, and nothing sticks on the street ever especially in the hellcat but we'll give it a try let's see what we can uh see what we can come up with so i'm gonna go down there to my little zero to 60 test spot and we'll try to do you know two or three runs and see what we get all righty let's try this first one intake air temps are a little bit up there but we're not gonna fret it too much performance zero 60 boom obviously the best is wrong Now with a chipmunk running out in front of me all right that's already miles ahead of what i was able to do like there was wasn't that much drama i rolled into it comfortably or slowly i should say not comfortably but i rolled into it there wasn't that much drama you could definitely tell that she was <laughs> she wanted to break loose but they, they held her they held her in 3.9 on the street and <laughs> I don't think that should be taken too lightly. Uh oh, someone's at your front door. The whiff is gonna be mad at me. Where's your dad at? Where's the fool? Sorry, babe. Uh, so yeah, everything's set to exactly how I would have it. Um, you guys didn't see my little Mexico video not too long ago. Uh, keeping it in this track is a very bad thing. <laughs> All it does is spin, spin, spin. Every time you hit a hump, the suspension is just so hard. There's no travel. There's no play whatsoever. There's no give. And you just spin with every little hump that you hit. It's a, it's a pretty bad thing. But the minute I put it in a custom, it's like a whole different car. Keeping that suspension in street mode makes a world of difference. Let me tell you. Well, let's try to get another one here. I'm just going to not even. I'm just going to leave off idle. See what we can get. Yep, these tires hook. They hook. They hook very well. <laughs> boy, you boys is fuck. Y'all boys is about to catch hell, boy. These these things hook. These things hook. Someone had me a little worried. They were like, oh man, they, they, they take a lot of heat. I literally just 3-8. There was, there was no drama there. There was no drama there. I probably could have just stabbed it and something and it probably would have got even lower than that. I felt like I, I rolled into it, but I was definitely way more aggressive this time around, and there was no drama. It also could have been, you know, where we are on the road. So I'm going to 
try to stay in this little stretch right here. So I'm just gonna loop around right here whenever this car gets past and we're gonna try it again. Actually, let me cruise up a little bit. Try to bring my intake air temps down. I wanna give it a fair shot. So that was a 3.8. And I know someone's gonna chime, dude, I do three sevens on stock 20s. Okay, whatever, bro. <laughs> Good for you, I guess. I don't know what you, what do you want a fucking award? Jesus Christ. I do three six on I'm stock 20s. Yeah, fuck right. Yeah, right. Well, these things did not spin. So, and then if you remember, that's how the Mickeys were when I first, oh, oh yeah, my tire pressure light's coming on. So we got a couple of cars coming behind me. I'm just gonna get up to my little spot. You can actually see where I was last time. Look, 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 look. That's where I was last time. <laughs> so we're just gonna chill right here and we're gonna use our same little spot. Wait for these guys to come past and try another go. Let everybody pass. This is gonna be the last one. I'm not trying to break anything out here, so. But I, I got confidence we can beat that 3-8. Because baby girl is moving. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy how much of a how big of a difference tires make, man. It's freaking ridiculous. How much better these tires feel. Or how much better the car feels once you put some some real tires up under it. Let's see if we can do I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go for an eighth pull. Let's do an eighth. Eighth timer. Actually, no, we're here for zero six. We're gonna focus on zero sixty. So this time I'm gonna try to. Pretty confident we can get a 3.7, we get a 3.6. All right, I'm done, I'm going home. That's good enough for me. Uh, if you jump in that lane next to me, just know <laughs> we're not spinning, baby. We're not spinning. There was like a little bit. There was a very, very small bit of wheel slip, but other than that, she hooked up. We hooked up now, baby. We are good to go. All right, so I know I said I will wait till later probably could have got like a three five maybe maybe even a three four on the street if we would have waited a little later and it wasn't so hot but i, I was i was too excited hey the never speak for themselves man the hoosiers work hey if you don't have any mickey thompson et street r's available get yourself some hoosiers get yourself some hoosiers people people like i said they were telling me how they need a bunch of heat yada 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 you saw i didn't do a single burnout the last time i came out here to do zero to 60s with the with the ET Street R's, I, I had to heat them up. I had to heat them up to get anywhere close to that time. And I literally just pulled these things out. Granted, these are brand new compared to the Mickeys when they were, you know, years old at that point. So that could play into it. But I would say these tires are on par with each other, man. I'll put the link down to them. I'll put the size, I'll put everything, all that stuff. If you didn't catch it in the beginning of the video, I'll put all that stuff down in the description. But as we all know, Mickey Thompson, is it's going to be a while before they can get some ET Street R's in the 305, 45, 17. I've seen some people, they already have the uh, 315, 50, 17s. They already have those in stock. But uh, as far as I know, the 305s are still out of stock. So if you're on the fence, man, proof's right there. <laughs> proof's right there. I, I don't know what else you need. Like, I literally just went out there, turned a 36, 38, 37, Wait, a 3.9, a 3.8, and then a 3.6, back to back. No no burnout. So if you need more proof than that, I don't know I don't know how to help you, man. Like, I literally just went out there and did it for you. No burnouts on video. I caught it all. I, I don't know what else what else to say. These are some good tires. And they're cheaper than the Mickey Thompsons. The Mickey, the 315s or the 305-45, the ET Street R's were about, I think they were 320 a piece. These are only 250 a piece, so they were right at like 500. Uh, duh, compared to the Mickey Thompsons, which are about 650, 660, depending on where you get them from. 
I've seen him get as high as 700. Okay, it's still in sport mode. I was like, why is this not downshifting? Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy so far, man. I got no complaints. So I'm gonna get on home, fix me up some, some din din, and uh, we about to take these things to Mexico tomorrow night. Hey, buddy, hmm, there's a Mustang back there. But uh, yeah, I'm happy, man. <laughs> the car, it looks great. They hook great. What more can you ask for, bro? I'm definitely gonna have to invest in, you know, some 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 beefing up components here in the near future because Lord knows they're gonna need it. Oh hoo -hoo, boy, I can't let's go man. I'm, I'm trying not to spill the beans for you folks, bro, but we're getting so close to that date, man, and I'm I'm just I'm just getting more and more excited. I can't wait. I can't freaking wait, bro. Everything's coming together nicely. I, I don't wanna jinx myself, I don't wanna jinx anything, so I'm not saying anything. Because anytime I open my mouth, bad stuff happens. So I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. And you guys just got to stay tuned, man. This thing's about to get, it's, it's about to get crazy. That 3.6, yeah, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. LOL to the 3.6. So uh, that's really all I got for you guys, man. Like I said, if you're on the fence about the Mickey Thompsons or the Hoosiers, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. Um, ah. I gotta say, I, I might be leaning towards the Hoosiers at this point. I'm not gonna lie. The Mickey Thompson Day, there's nothing to, to, to complain about. There, there's nothing to complain about at all. I got no complaints about my Mickeys at all, other than, you know, as they got older, you can tell they weren't, you know, they weren't doing a job as great. But that's to be expected with any tire. Uh, if you're on the fence, man, I say go ahead and spring for the Hoosiers if you, if you just can't wait like like if you're in my boat and you just can't wait for the mickey thompson's just grab the hoosiers you won't be disappointed um now obviously i can't give a fair review just yet so i'm gonna give it some time give it a week or two go out to mexico and see how she does but as of right now the looks the performance um i'm sold man i would definitely buy again i'm 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 sold as of right now i can say i can say that but if you're not sold and you want to hang around for the review, just stick around. And I'll give you a fair review when I put a couple miles on these tires. But as of right now, I got nothing bad to say about them. So um, if it was your first time stopping by, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you guys get notifications when these videos go up. Swim to the Instagram channel at low376slow. All one word. I'll put it down in the description, baby. And uh, until next time, 2 of you, I'm out. Peace.